So this is a, another Google Earth investigation breakdown video. Um, this one's a little bit more fun, I think, than some of the other ones. Because, uh, yeah, I'm here in the Amazon rainforest. And who wouldn't want to spend a lot of time there? So I try to spend some time roaming around on the old Google Earth. And trying to work out what exactly we're looking at and how it can be that things seem to be edited and changed just so much that you can infer that things are there but not work out exactly what they are. Either that or there's long collapsed architecture blending with a still active a uh, race of people, or hell, even reptilian lizards. This is going to get that crazy in this video. But, you know, it's all just um, fun what-ifs to me. This is just one of my new hobbies. But uh, if you're interested, stick around. It's going to get really interesting, and it starts here at what I think is the entrance to a temple. So on the left, you have a big jade human skull. On the right, you have some kind of... Uh, base which is not dead but looks angry and in front of it you have this figure of uh seems to me like an amazonian warrior woman she's got one breast because they used to cut off the other breast and use it to fight with um around this um entryway where i think is uh this woman is like you'd sort of climb up on that and be able to view out and see everything there uh, down around here, there seems to be maybe some kind of structures that are just around, like her body kind of flows down from her waistline, and this is like a, a shield that she has holding her. And to me, it'll connect with uh, something I'll go into shortly, but just for now, be aware of these like radial points around this um, center, which again looks sort of like a face. But, uh, yeah, there's some inorganic-looking structures around here. Um, and uh, this uh, continues on around this area in all kinds of weird ways, like it goes through the green and under the green and is expressing in the uh, ground sometimes. And it's, it's hard to tell what we're looking at. Like, are these lines in the ground and in the trees or, or what it, it looks like moss covering a rock at this scale there's seemingly uh, petroglyph lines everywhere come down here there's a very inorganic looking structure right there human skull shape but also uh, very very um, glyphic in its depiction you know and the more you traverse around this area the more weird stuff your eye will start to pick out. So here at this structure, which follows in a straight line up from that temple entrance, it seems to me like one, two, three, four different uh, depictions of beings that looks like a screaming monkey and, um, you know, maybe some other animals there. I haven't really looked at it long enough to fully determine, but uh, it's some kind of... Um, long-eared mammal there and they all seem to be around symbolically this uh center right here and there seems to be some kind of ropes or bridges uh, going into the middle of it and then coming down off the bottom of that there seems to be some kind of roofing which is casting its own shadow down onto the ground again and the terrain keeps dropping and then we have these really weird tree-looking structures. And this is what actually stopped my journey as I was uh, moving around. I didn't find the skull first. I found this odd-looking plant, which looked to me like a ninja star. But it's like what I was saying a minute ago. How much of what we're looking at can we be sure of plants? And how much can we be certain that there's not a heavy amount of editing being done in places where people generally don't go and can't get to and there might be a big incentive to cover things up as they really are because the truths are scary or um you know serving some other means some other end 
I mean, that could be a wall with a giant face on it. And uh, these things um, which, you know, you want to believe are trees surrounded by all of this weird stuff. It's a connection which I'll keep building for you when you see these things. And then look around, you'll find uh, things might not be exactly as they seem. So um, down from this part, there's kind of a pathway that goes through these clearings. Um, there was an artifact in one of these close by. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, that looks like a, a face sitting there in the dirt, a big stone face. Um, so we go over here, there's more of these structures which don't really seem like trees to me, seems like a bad editing job to me. But if you want to tell me it's uh, not a bad editing job, then I think there's some kind of technology at play where there's these beings that are in the deep jungle and they've got large noticeable technologies, so they guard it with, um, yeah, some kind of technology that conceals them makes them look like trees to photos. I mean, these these things, I don't know what they are, but they seem massive. They seem truly huge and in these weird radial spirals that don't quite map to my knowledge of trees and definitely they stand out in the terrain at a scale where come one of these leaves and they're bigger than a lot of these, um, I mean, apparent like parts of this broccoli that are individual trees, but it's so hard to, to make out what we're looking at that I think it had to have been edited to, to appear like this. I mean, it's um, hard for me to find uh, a lot of photography to compare it with from different terrain heights, but this is another feature, is this uh, grayness with um, kind of like spider webbing through it. Something like that could be concealing more structures, more structures down here, a doorway, a road, a square doorway, a little temple mound. So this might be an entire city-sized civilization in the jungle there, doing weird stuff that we're not really aware of for one reason or another, be it, you know, people in control of information or their ability to conceal themselves, either one works for me and the whole idea is just kind of fun. But um, yeah, we can keep following and looking for these uh, these uh, plants, which or these apparent plants, which I haven't found anywhere else. If I go out a certain distance from this region, they'll sort of just disappear and um, see if I can find the exact point I was at because it's quite difficult. Once you zoom out, even once you start to go, what the hell, where was I? Which makes this whole hobby just kind of endless and you can do it and um, never feel like you've gotten to the end of it. So it's down off this river chain there, I think. Oh, no, I think that all the time. Let's just hit that again. Yeah, wrong river chain, of course. So, anyway, that's where, yeah, that's where the plants are, and that's where the cave entrance, or the um, temple complex entrance might be. Um, down around here, there's a lot more angular um, topography. There's possibly some mining, some, uh, sorry, logging that's happened down here. I'm not really sure. It's again hard to tell, but uh, these uh, these trees they seem so out of place, and they don't seem to be trees to me at all. They seem to be something that uh, Google has decided to sticker around and manipulate slightly to obscure anything that. Um, is, you know, going to give something away that we're not supposed to know about. I mean, there's clusters of them all around, and anywhere you find them, they just don't look like, uh, they don't look like nature to me. They look like uh, beings that are pretending 
like camo netting, you know, camo netting developed by a species that, or a race that lives out there in the jungle and is making square monuments with stepping on it in the middle of, was that a single tree? A bunch of trees? I don't even know. But the more that you study Google Earth, the more weird stuff you'll find. And why is it that there's just never anything normal around these trees? These weird looking things that are very lazily attempting to be trees at this point. Once you've gone a fair enough away from that spot we were at, look, is that, that's not a tree that's coming out of the topography in different points. And it's inferring the same tree because, uh, yeah, People are lazy. They're not going to collectively look into things and go, why are the rocks breaking into the same pattern that I'm meant to infer are trees from a certain scale? What the hell is going on? So we're following these trees and it's taking us on a journey down from where we started, which uh, you can say isn't evidence of like the path of a city or a civilization's trail through the jungle but yeah i don't know it seems like it could be good evidence at this point honestly well it's at least fun to think about that's for sure and it's just uh there's the river it's weird how hard it is to find this spot again every time you zoom out there it is because that's the uh that's how I notice it, is this uh, spot in the middle seems like the center of whatever's going on here that has to be delineated by three different cultures in guard mode or something like that. And you look at all of these straight lines that are coming up through the photographs. What is going on here? What is going on at all? There is just so much Amazon to see. But when you look around the Amazon, and I can start doing that soon, just to uh, give evidence of what I'm, what I'm doing here. <clears throat> A lot of it, you can't zoom in and get any kind of detail for the tree network. So you're really left scratching your head at like, why there's these weird inorganic looking things that are a lazy attempt to patch something together into trees and use the same broccoli texture over everything which is not how nature looks like google earth and any documentary no it's definitely not how things actually come out and you look at this it's a face right there kind of coming up out of some kind of Broken terrain. What, what is it? Is it King Kong? Do they not want us to see King Kong? Or is it the uh, Valley of the Lizard People that I've stumbled across? I mean, I quite like that idea because I've always liked the idea of Lizard People. But if you could tell me something else that would think to even do things that I'm suggesting, making technology to hide themselves looking like trees isn't that something that sounds like what reptiles would do if they didn't want to be found quite interesting isn't it it's one small little spot and uh i'll scroll right right away across a few things and uh, where are the spiral trees, huh? Where are they? Oh, there's some more of them. What are they, giant ferns? Super giant ferns? How are tree leaves that big, exactly? I don't know, man. I'd like to look around some... Uh, actual civilization areas and see if I can find any of these things.
because it's just such a weird, freaky, and funky place that we live. And they've given us this 600 million photo album to break down and go over and go, well, I need about 100 more photos of whatever the hell that is to be able to tell you if it's a super giant dragonfly or some kind of tree structure or, um, you know, the end of the world waiting to rise up and take over us all. Who knows? Literally, who knows? But I'm going to keep doing these Google Earth videos of places where I'd love to go and explore. Things I'd love to prove to myself and the world. You know, just answers that are dying to be scratched out from under the surface. That's uh, covering up something, definitely. Either that, or I don't understand maps from my hand. But I know my hand pretty well. And my hand always looks the same way. It doesn't look totally weird if I put in a program. And then, you know, just scale in and scale out. 